Did he forget to put the pad underneath that one? What's that? The pad? Batch number 54. The wife wrote this recipe, so uh, it's going to probably be dang good. We'll put it in the, over the mash tun like I always do there. It's got all kinds of goodies in here. We're at 10, 1062 pre-boil. Oh, my own. <laughs> okay, guys, batch number 54 we're going to dough in. The wife um, wrote this recipe here. We're calling it Thunderstruck. We're calling it thunderstruck. So I'm getting the mash water or the dough, uh, spark or the <laughs> strike water in now. Don't stir it violently, just very light, like if anything. I don't need to do mash suck. Oh, the smell is awesome. We got some flaked uh, barley. No, we don't talk about this. It's always amazing. One of my guys are under lead and stuff. I never had any. Little balls just don't touch the bottom. Okay? It smells delicious. Make it alive. Batch number 54. Pre-boil reading is, oh my goodness, uh, 10, 62. Holy, holy, holy. Very good. 10, 62. Very Come good. Yeah. Uh, batch number 54, the Thunderstruck. The wife uh, wrote the recipe and she came up with the name. So it's, uh. Like I say, I'll put it in the, in the mash tun. I'll write it down what it is. It's got, uh, I don't know, I could probably read it real quick before it boils over. I don't know. Just approaching a hot break. i got to watch put the hops in there. we got some white wheat, honey, two-row, caramel 40, some rye, and some six-row. Uh, we're going to probably add a little uh, uh, cherry sil uh, syrup and some van uh, vanilla. Vanilla bean or extract or something. 
and a little cherry stuff, but uh, we'll see. Oh, geez, I got the camera pointed over my shoulder. But here we go. Here's the hot break. Uh, first thing is going to be two ounces of uh, or, or yeah, Warrior. Two ounces of Warrior hops. As soon as this break goes over here, so let's. I got to man the man the throttle for a second. I think we're good to go. Here go the hops. Two ounces of uh, Warrior hops. They're in. Make sure I don't boil over here. Got to get the last one out of there. Can't waste that. So there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> How you doing? Almost. And go slow. Got to go slow. Especially after the add the hops, it seems to want to get more violent. But there we go. We're, we should be good to go once this hot break makes it. So, uh, yeah. Name of this one here again is uh, Thunderstruck. Bada boom. <laughs> it's got a lot of rye in it, uh, like I said. And we let her uh, write this one. I says, nothing wrong with what you're doing there. Looks good. I'm like, I'll drink it. <laughs> Haven't made a bad one yet. I made a stout that was so strong. You can eat with chocolate cake. And actually, it was good. But a lot of people didn't like it. Because I'm telling you, it was strong, strong, strong. Strong on the chocolate. Strong on the, on the wheat. Strong on the uh, midnight wheat. And that's a dark, dark wheat. I think the love you bond on that, something like 400 or something. All right, got to watch we don't boil over again. So back to the brew here, uh, number uh, 54, and uh, we'll be done when it's done. Just get the, the boil going. Back with the Thunderstruck and a cap full of Irish moss. We're down to the last 15 minutes. Two ounces of uh, Hirschbrocker hops, pellet hops. They're in. And uh, the other ingredient, of course, I got to do a bricks uh, reading shortly. Uh, what am I looking for here? Yep, here we go. Here we go. Might as well show her. Last 15 minutes. Got a little moaning cherry syrup here. Gonna put some of that in there. I'm gonna measure it actually. I'll do a cup. One cup. She's in. That's the cherry flavor we're going to be getting on this. vanilla extract and she's in so there you go a little vanilla extract some uh, mon and cherry uh, premium gourmet syrup <laughs> yeah yeah it's a wife's recipe gonna be a good one gonna be a good one I know it's gonna be a good one So I'm going to come up to a boil for the last 15 minutes here, and then I'll spill some stuff on the floor. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? That's how I do it. You know how it is. So we're doing good. We're done to our proper amount here. Got the work chiller in already set to go. I'm just going to decide what type of yeast I'm going to use. So I'm going to go read some packages now. We got up this morning, and my uh, <laughs> recipe blew the cover right off of the, the bucket. Blew it all over the wall, all over the floor. What a mess. I got, got open for the grill. 26 pound turkey shoved into a big uh, kettle. And we smoke it on here for, uh, well, four hours, five hours, depending. All depending on the temperature. She's a big bird. She's a big, big bird. Covered it up a little bit. 
close her on down. Let her get, get the gun. She's a cooking. All right, came out to the turkey. She looks like she's doing beautiful. At the temperature, we're going to stab her anyway to see if we got the proper temperature here. Oh, yeah, we do. She's a done. She's coming off. She's a done. That's the, um, that's the turkey there. Smoked turkey. I can't take any of it because it's for the, the party tomorrow. It's my daughter's. But dang, sons of a gun. I think the chef deserves a little taste there somehow. I'm going to get burnt. There we go. Oh, that fell off of there. You know how that works. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Yeah, it's for my daughter's 4th of July party tomorrow. Or whenever this video airs, who knows. My year in September. Okay. That's really good. Very good turkey. Very lightly smoked. Honestly. Alright, we're in uh we're into the Google here. I'm just after your beer, dude. <laughs> we're doing uh some IPAs here from uh Big Ditch Company to uh they're called the uh hay burners, I do believe. I got a new cup the wife bought me. It's a little fancy there, you know, for a fancy boy like I am, you know how that goes. But it uh, has a double liner, keeps it a little cooler for us fancy boys. Oh, oh, oh. And I left my socks on. Ugh. I forgot to take my socks off. And they needed to get washed anyway. Oh, yeah. We're on our way to like 93, I guess, today in the city of Buffalo. That's really about the beard, don't we all know that? Ah, oh, no wonder the wife has been in here for an hour and 40, hour and 40 minutes according to the, to the Apple Watch there. Ah, oh. oh, that feels really good. Ah, oh. yeah. My grandkids were over yesterday swimming, had a nice time. Nice time. What we do? Ah, 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 the wife wife stealing my beer. That's no good. Turn your back for a second. She steals your beer. How's that work? You got the honey brown on keg. But uh, we decided to make it an IPA day because uh, a great day in Buffalo. You want an IPA. I do anyway. And a uh, uh, honey brown taste test here. Just uh, tapped it. Not 100% carbonated but we got lacing. Carbonation's coming up slowly which I'm doing slowly. I'm going to crank it up to get it done but favorite beers. It's really, really good. But I was stuck. 